Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. In this video today, I'm going to talk about something a little bit different. Now guys, if you follow the Army Painter or watch their channel, or, you know, you're a bit of a social media nerd and you follow Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, or follow Army Painter in any way, you may already know this news, and if not, we're going to talk about joining Army Painter's new... Hang on, hang on a minute. The Army Painter's new paint development team, or PDT for short. And in this video I want to go over what that is, why it is, and who it is. I won't go over how because what even would that mean? Or where it is because where is in, in, in my house for my part of it, but everybody else's will be in their own areas. Oh, this is all in my eyes, it's so hard to see. So let's begin with what the PDT or paint development team is. Now this is Army Painter's new endeavor to enhance customer feedback and improve products based on how their actual customers feel and take and use the product that they have made. So the Army Painter are immensely passionate about listening to feedback, improving their products based on what customers have asked for and said is missing or problematic in the past. The first thing I noticed was their invention of steel balls. No, the army painter literally put their balls in our paints. It started off by making these agitators. We've all seen the shake well label on the back of the army painter bottles and know there is no way you can ever grow muscles big enough to shake those bottles. They took that issue and packaged up their own agitators, which they could sell separately. And then we could start adding a couple of little steel balls into our paints just to get that extra oomph when you're trying to shake them up and mix their paints that little bit better. What then happened is people asked why they couldn't put those agitators directly into the bottle and essentially they've got the machinery in place and they would have to retrofit it but enough people fed back the balls should come in the paints that they've gone and retrofitted all of their machines and now all of their paints come with army painter balls dipped in your paint without the feedback army painter are listening to from people like yourselves we also wouldn't have these skin tone range in existence i personally know people have emailed about this and then saw this paint come out so once again listening to your guys' feedback on how to change the product range. The PDT is the next step in caring about their customer base and seeing what they want. So they've taken this cross section of users and each person in the PDT is designed to represent an area, di di diagraphic, demographic, got it. First try. A demographic of the customer base and what they might care most about in that range. So essentially what this is for is to improve their products and hopefully give our customers an even better experience with the Army Painter. Let's move on to why this exists. So if you've not seen, speed paints have existed for about a year now and there was 23 colours to begin with. Army Painter are stepping that up now. They want to go to 90 colours. That's it. That does include the original 23. So we're adding 67 maths. So we're adding 67 new colours and what the PDT will be doing, testing that, improving it and feedbacking as well as inventing da -da 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 -da, some new colours. So we'll have an opportunity to add some colours to that range that as painters we think are missing from the set. So it's a fairly simple why. We're going to be testing the new speed paints. We're going to be bringing them forward and trying to get the best product we can out there, not just from a company trying to make money. We're not interested in how much money they make, sorry Army Painter, but we are interested that the product that we're going to use, as well as yourselves, is the best we can help make it. Now that moves on to the final who. So who is in the PDT? You will notice there's five YouTubers because we have the reach, we have this audience, we have our subscribers, and essentially the Army Painters have the feedback, and you guys need to be involved. So who's in the PDT? Well, First and foremost, it's going to be you. So buckle up because we're going to need your help. But who are the representatives of this cross section of the community? Who, who's your avatar? Who's your meat mech that you're going to hopefully control and help make this product 
simply the best we can make it. Well, you've got Brent from Goober Town Hobbies, who, if you don't know, is a great content creator, a great painter, and on top of all that, he's a chemist. He's going to be able to look at this paint at a molecular level and really look at how and why it works and flows as it does and hopefully help understand and improve that aspect of it. And we'll get the best sort of flowing paint and pigments and you know, all the chem... I'm not a scientist, all the scientific things out of it. Then you've got John from Ninjon, who, if you've seen his channel, another great YouTuber. He is a... How would you describe him? He's a... He's a great painter. He's a competitive level, a pro painter. I don't know, there's no definition on what makes you pro, but he is one of the better painters I know. And also he's a critic. He he had negative things to say about speed paints the first time around. And what better way of improving your product is there than inviting your critics to help examine what they didn't like about it and fixing it going forward. Then we have Dana from Dana Howell, who's a very stylistic painter. She's got great colour vision, I guess you could say it. I think she's she's very, she's stylized, isn't she? She's stylish. Dana Howell is stylish and she's going to be able to pick the right colours, see what colours are missing and expand the range to, to colours that other people may not even think of needing in the palette. So then that leaves us with Watch It Paint It. Why is Ben and Mike on the team? Well, if you're not smart, stylish, or good at painting, well guess what? You're us. And that is probably quite a large cross-section of the community. Now, that's not a bad thing. Don't take that in a mean way, in any way, shape, or form. There are plenty of people like Mike and myself, just a couple of dudes trying to put some paint on their tiny little dudes to make the game better, more immersive, more fun, and just have a better experience in the gaming world. And that's what we're aiming to do. We're trying to get new people into the hobby and show you it's not that hard. You don't have to be the best painter in the world to enjoy this hobby. You don't have to understand colours and what goes well together and makes things pretty. Hell, you don't need to know which daddy paint goes with which mummy paint to make a little tiny baby paint. You can still enjoy this hobby in its entirety. With the five members of the PDT, hopefully that is a great cross-section of the demographic within the community and we'll be able to push forward and make this product better and better. But as I've mentioned, the most important one is you. You guys right out there watching these videos, we need we need input, we need feedback, and we need suggestions. Start smashing away on those comments below. Any problems you've got with the previous set, anything you would like to see going forward, any colours that are missing, the world is your oyster. So there's nothing more for me to do today but sort of sit around and wait for some paints to come, I guess. Mills here. The Army Painter Supplies have arrived for the PDT and should we have a look what we've got? Well, first and foremost, some palettes. Can't complain about that. I always need something to put some paints on. We also have, damn, shot glasses. They know me way, way too well. Get little hats for those shot glasses, I guess, so we can shake up the paints. They've sent the entire Speed Paint Mega Set to get going, just in case I didn't already own all of those colours at least twice. Then, what's in here? Paints! So it looks like they sent about 40, 45 new colours to try out and I'll certainly be doing that in the upcoming videos. Last but not least, oh we have the Master Paints. So Army Painter have sent out what they use, which pigments they use to mix up all of the different coloured speed paints. Oh, as well as some medium matte to throw in and some empty bottles to make up the paint. So guys, as part of the PDT, we get to go out there and make some brand new colours using these master paints. And that's another part that we would like your help in. What colours do you think are missing? Let us know in the comments below. What would you like to see? Give us some examples of miniatures that you can't paint with the existing colours because something is missing and we will mix that up and see what we can do. So, to summarise guys, you are now part of the PDT. We would like feedback below. Things that you like about speed paints, things you dislike about speed paints, things you would like to see in the new version of speed paints. And using those master colours, we would also like you guys to suggest colours that currently you do not have, as well as what, what you're going to paint with them. That The example of what you're going to paint would be critical in us understanding how important that colour is. And a final bonus suggestion for you guys. 
is new paint names. If you are suggesting a colour, suggest a name too and we will see if we can get some of the best names in there. There's a solid chance we're going to see those names and paints in the upcoming speed paint release. Guys, that is everything for this video. I just really wanted to let you know about the PDT and what we're going to be doing over the next few months. I think the most obvious thing to do is to go and paint all of these new colours and let us have a look how they look. If you'd like to see that video, also give this one a thumbs up and we'll know that you are desperate to see all those new colours on a miniature. Thank you all ever so much for watching and we'll see you again very soon. Hey, I looked at the microphone, you're not, you're not there, you're up there. Make more enjoyable the products that we use to do our hobby. Just like they do in the past. And they want to go about and gather feedback. Oh my God, the PDT paint development team is. Oh, what, what it's for, what it's for. Oh God. Ugh. Army Paint really, really care about customer feedback. They have an entire team dedicated. They have, I don't know if it's a team, I can't say that. Now I'll talk about the paint set and the balls. So go and, go and sort out the paint set and the balls. It's gonna be videos, because that's what we are gonna to wanna to do. 40, 45 new colors for us to test. We keep dropping them all week. And why this paint works as it does. Somebody's at my door, it's inconvenient. Something like that.